Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to go over how to keyframe effects in Lightworks. Keyframing is a really awesome thing that you can do. And to demonstrate this, I have three clips. I have a macro of a praying mantis playing with his food. I have a mutant worm from hell that has teeth. Look at this worm. That is a worm, everybody has teeth. It's a mutant. I found it in the sewer. Okay. Then I have uh, this scene of some ocean footage. So some waves, you know, trolloping around. So I'm going to go to the Praying Mantis and I'm going to go to the VFX tab because that's where the effects are. So you're presented with this window, which you can resize, by the way, if you want the tracks to be bigger or smaller. Obviously, Smaller is better in this case, so you can see the video more so. But I'm going to start with the Praying Mantis, and I'm just going to position the playhead over it. Right click, go up here to Effects, click Add, and I'm going to do a DVE, 2D DVE effect. Alright, so now this effect is now added. You can see it over here in the Effects pane. And keyframing is really quite simple. So all I'm going to do is put the cursor where I want to start um, the change. I'm going to first zoom in on the scale. I'm going to hit master and I'm just going to zoom in. Now I'm not actually keyframing yet. I'm going to position this clip where I want it. So I'm going to drag it up over here. And I'm going to do something where I kind of scroll into his beautiful praying mantis face over there. So I'm going to go to Y and I'm going to, you know, put this right here. Now the keyframe, all you do is these little things right here. It looks like a clock kind of. You just click it so it's highlighted. So I'm going to click that over position and I'm going to click the master on this because this is what I want to keyframe. So now that these are highlighted, I'm just going to go over to my playhead. I'm going to hit play. Give this a second. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this Y controller for the position and drag this down to get his face in the shot. And if I want to keep this here, then I'll go to the end of the clip and I'll copy this value in. Because otherwise it might drift. But if I go back here and hit play, you can see I'm zoomed into his body and it just kind of slowly goes into his face. So now you can see his gorgeous looking face. And it's actually going to go back to the position that I originally started in. So if I wanted to keep it on his face, I'd have to go back to Y and type 0 0.57 towards the end, which will bring it to his face. So now it won't drift back. Matter of fact, let's rewind that. Start from the beginning. Starts at his body. It scrolls up because I keyframed it up. Now you can see him playing with his food. It pauses right there. I can set a keyframe for do uh, the master right here. So I can click, for example, two five three. Just give it a little bit more zoom to, to set a point here. I can move the playhead a little bit more. Then I can zoom out if I want to, and this is gonna zoom out in the um, video as well. So let's move the playhead back and hit play. Playing with his food, you're going to see it zoom out real quick. All of a sudden, there it goes. See, now it's zoomed out. Now it's going to zoom back in because I didn't set a keyframe to keep it in that zoomed out position. So let's go back and see. I actually don't want it to do that. So let's see where it zooms out and the max it stays zoomed out. So that's about it right there. The max is... See, I'm hitting the arrows. You can see the max. You can see this moving right here. This is the value. It's 126, 127, 128. So now it's getting zoomed in. Let's go back the other way. 124, 120. Well, it looks like it's 122 is the max. So if I just copy that. Okay. There we go. Copy. I can go to the end of the clip and I can just paste this in there. And then this will now keep the zoomed out position. Zoomed out, now it's going to stay. He's playing with his food. 
you know, you can then you can do whatever you want. You can take the um, the X Y position and you can you know move it all over the place if you want to. Put it over here and move it the other way. All right. See now if I hit play, go back here, hit play. This is my clip. He's zooming right into his gorgeous looking face while he messes around with that beetle. And I actually gave him the beetle with a pair of tweezers because I just wanted to see him eat it. Now it's moving the clip all around and bada boom. Now let's move to our worm. This actually is a mutant worm that I found in the sewer. I'm not kidding about that. I'm being totally honest. And let's see. Look at those pearly white teeth. So let's find an effect to put on our worm friend. In fact, let's see what we have. Let's mess around. Uh, you know, you have a whole host of effects, and you can you can keyframe just about any of these. And in fact, I'm actually going to keyframe the color. See, I have color right here. Now, for example, if I hit saturation right here, if I highlight that, and I nudge this up a little bit to give it a starting value. Then you hit play, and then I bring the saturation way up. You can see he turns red. Let's go back here and hit play. So you can see he's slowly turning like a reddish color because I just keyframed the saturation up. Go to the RGB thing. You can highlight, you know, contrast. I can keyframe that, the, the brightness. Keyframe anything you want. So let's go back to the beginning, and let's just mess with these sliders. Seems like he's turning all kinds of colors now. Told you it was a mutant. Oh, look at that mutant worm. Now you hit play. And I'll just stop right there and I will bring these to a different direction and then you'll watch it change when you're playing the video. This is really all there is to keyframing. And you can do this with just about any effect. So look, he's changing colors. You know, now I got my ocean effect. It's really much the same. You right click, go to add effect, find an effect to add. I'm going to put a glow effect on here. And we will keyframe this, glow, tolerance. I'll, just, I'll highlight all of these. You know, play the video, put this in a different spot. Bring these to a different uh, setting. Play video. Bring them to an even, you know, bring them to a new setting. You know, I, I think you pretty much get the picture, right? And of course, if I play it. Oh, now it's bright. Now it's dim. You know, and keyframing even goes beyond the video. You can keyframe the audio as well. See, here's the audio. If I just went to the audio tab. If you just click various points on this line, I'm adding little keyframes all over the audio. And I can click and drag them down, drag that up. This is all keyframed audio now. You probably won't be able to hear it, but you can certainly see the levels changing. Now it goes to nothing. I mean, this is, this is keyframing for you. And it's really that simple. I mean, th that's how you keyframe effects in Lightworks. Thanks for watching.